Hello and welcome to another episode of Gist with Seven. It's good to have you here again. So today we'll be talking about one of the most essential things in life, which is communication. But we all know that communication is sacrosanct in every relationship, no doubt about that. Just imagine a situation where there is no communication in a home or you and your spouse or even within your peer group. So today we will throw more light on the importance of communication in our lives. Um. I love this conversation because, you know, when we talk about communication, to me, it's um, one of the technical skills that people really need to acquire. Mm. It's one thing to talk. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to know how to really convey your message, convey yeah. whatever thing you want to say. So mm -hmm. in a respectful way yeah. and um, concise way and in such a manner that the other person would not misunderstand and misinterpret mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I have seen... Um, miscommunication in terms of this person not being able to understand the other person take it in another way it has caused um violence it has caused um hatred you know yeah. relationship breakups mm -hmm. and all of that like you rightly mentioned so yeah. i one thing i really want to state out there is that in all our communication, I've realized that communication is not just when you open your mouth to talk. Mm -hmm. Even the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, mm -hmm. the mouth speaketh. So, communication for me goes in everything before it even comes out. Your How? facial expression, your body language, yeah. your tone. Because you can tell someone, um, please come. Mm -hmm. That's the way. The same thing, though, know, are you saying, please come? Like yeah, no. this person, like you, you see and the difference between the two, they will feel insulted. Yeah, <laughs> you feel insulted. So, yeah. a particular word can open a door. Yeah. That same word being changed mm -hmm. to another tone, mm -hmm. maybe in an insultive manner yeah. or in like you could feel anger in mm -hmm. the voice, can shut a door. It's true, it's true, it's true. I also think that people should also acknowledge feelings, you know, and also, you know, feelings is also putting yourself in that person's shoes and then seeing how if you were the one that, um, that person is talking to how do you feel like the way now you want to talk to the person how do you feel i feel people should put feelings first you know put feelings put yourself in terms of okay let me talk about in terms of okay relationship now and then you have to put because communication really plays a very vital role in relationships very well mostly in organizations work everywhere everything, everywhere everything. but you know most of the things is that most of the things in relationships is that it costs lot of conflict because of misunderstanding and the rest and it's just lack of communication and how you approach to that person i just think that or feel that people or their spouse or the other person should just put her own feelings and her own that other person's needs or try to even listen like it's better you listen to hear what this person is about to say because there are some people that whenever they start talking they just tend to just want to banter back immediately so i think it's better you just listen to what your partner wants to say first like put yourself in that person should just say okay let me listen and see what he or she wants to say to me you know, what are you talking about to me is empathy you mm -hmm. understand yeah, it is. so when you even said um listen listen mm -hmm. is very good it's yeah. also on both ways yeah you understand mm -hmm. one person should not be talking 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 should mm -hmm. also give room mm -hmm. for another person to talk mm -hmm. you understand because sometimes when um when people say okay just listen it looks like the other person just doing the listening and he's not like there is no time for him or her to really like explain himself and so it's, you know, it's balanced let me share something with what you I'm trying no, to no, say no, no, no wait let me count down relationship, relationship. that's what i'm saying it's between, happening with a relationship between a spouse it's that's what i'm saying thing, Jeff, no you with. know sometimes i want to share something with you wait first you know sometimes the lady tends to you know bring out her needs and everything say a lot of things that she wants and the rest but the guy is not actually listening he's not actually paying attention how sure to are that. you that the guy is and not listening don't you think that's why some guys feel like ladies are nagging you understand they listen you understand but maybe you just need patience to really get to that okay fine you said this it requires time and process so that you don't end up looking like you're just the one talking exactly. talking talking that's it but that's but not exactly what so it doesn't relationship. Make... i am generalizing <laughs> this whole thing i because know communication it's supposed to be 
in everything, both in professionalism yeah, I'm just coming from and a particular also, angle. yeah, I know, yeah. and also personal life. Because no, okay. when you said um, empathy, you mentioned empathy. Yeah. I, I, I want to share something that really happened to me back then in school. Okay. I remember having a roommate in my level 400. The, the girl was, the lady was in 200 level, mm -hmm. and she was like, she doesn't like light. Mm -hmm. She doesn't sleep with light. I mean, I sleep well, with light. Me too, I don't so like light. I, 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 I was like. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I mean, level 400, and this guy just enters Zeruna and he's trying to change the rules like light, no light. Mm. But I realized what she, she like did. your junior. Yeah, now. Like I said, she's in 200, you I was didn't, in 400. Didn't smack her no, out. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> but what happened was that after she told me that, can we be turning off the light when we, when we want to go to bed? Yeah. I said, no, I sleep mm. with light. Okay. And she doesn't sleep with light. Mm. But later, when I realized that she went to get um, this face okay. eye shade yeah. to cover her eyes yeah. while she's sleeping. I said to myself, like, it got me. When I woke up in the morning, I saw she covered her eye. I'm like, yeah. oh, my God. I had empathy. Yeah. So I decided, I made a personal decision That's that true. I'm just going to learn how to sleep with or mm. without light. So when she woke up, I told her, okay, well, you know what? Whenever I'm sleeping or you feel like I've slept, just turn off the light. Yeah. And I realized she didn't do it. So I started doing it on my, if I want to go to bed, I turn off mm -hmm. the light. So it's a personal thing. Yeah. You understand? Like, yeah. so people should of embrace course. those yeah. kind of things. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to communication it goes beyond talking it goes beyond it vocal it like at least when mm -hmm. you speak people just want to listen to of you course. even i started doing more of both these days and do you know what i do when i i, I get a boat driver i'm like <laughs> because i see their names i'm like let's say for example stan hello stanley how are you doing yeah how's work you know i'm just sounding so nice and, and excited give you a very yeah. safe and sound and they're wondering you know what they, they are, their response is usually the same thing like i love the way you spoke to me like i never really wanted to come yeah. so but the way you spoke Aww. the way you did this so i'm like okay communication is really key. yeah people are is. going through a lot so it yeah. takes nothing to be Manner nice of approach exactly yeah, that's, that's just it, it. All right, still talking about effective communication. So the beef between basket mouth and of course AY. And to think that this actually took place 17 years ago. One thing I really want to understand in this thing, Jane, is yeah. that um, during basket mouth interview, interview, I could feel rage and yeah, anger, anger in his voice, talking yeah. about and off as often as possible, he was mentioning that AY is not, not his, his friend. friend. They were never friends and like, all of that. But AY, on the other hand, was calm, calm and he we're respectfully just, yeah. talking about some of the things that, he, that like some of the privileges he yeah. had really gotten from true basket mouth. exactly yeah. and i know that it's relative on both ways yeah. because if you listen to uh, what um ay was saying Same. he was like um there was um something that came up more like a beat mm -hmm. that needed for him to that yes basket man needed to do it yeah but he was invited to do that yeah you understand because so, basket man was not available available for so it. you see yeah. that kind of a thing so it's more like he even though he was he was paid for it yeah he actually feel the gap mm -hmm. that basket man did not even acknowledge so I'm like the one of the things I've really learned from this people like it's very bad to call someone who do not even see you as a friend. A friend. <laughs> no, that was what I saw. Like this guy was saying, He's and not your I had I had this respect for <laughs> basket man, but watching him, I'm like, wow. Like, there is more to this than like, we actually saw. See? When I was watching that and I saw everything and I saw basket mouth, I don't know, but to my own understanding and to what I was seeing. I just felt like he just sees basket mad as I mean he just sees um, AY. AY as let me just say he's a guy I picked from the from the street or something like that I don't know that is how I see it as but you know the thing that's happened there is just um, communication that is what actually misunderstanding, misunderstanding and it's lack of communication or giving the right information properly and to stuff like right that because person. he but for AY, he was saying that the tech, it was a 30k pay job and then he didn't get it after two weeks. Two weeks. After two weeks. Uh, like, I know those days, okay, 2006, that period, mm -hmm. it was the time that, okay, 30k is something that can get something for you in it's the house. And, then, and then he was saying that he was a broke guy then and he I was, was hungry. patient enough to wait for two, for two weeks. weeks. Something that you've done, you've done your job and then you're not getting paid for what you did. Okay, you know, it's lack of communication that happened between them and then lack of understanding. You know, it, it would have been better if there was a nice manner of approach in terms of, so because um, 
ay try to you know share the whole uh, what's it called messages to this person and that person and then basket mouth couldn't even also pass the message straight to him because he was also saying that he was paid before the show and he wasn't even giving him the money like basket mouth was paid before the show but he didn't get that yeah, payment I, I, I get to you. ay before then it is it's true because like we rightly said the deed has been done yeah. everybody and now it turned out that these two people do not even consider themselves yeah. as friends especially basket mouth but i think conflict resolution should actually play here mm -hmm. because now there is always a way out in situations like this so for me personally what i think they should do is to make peace of course that's just the truth i don't know who is going to do it but i know that ay is in a position to do that and i've mm -hmm. some kind of somehow somehow he's been trying to portray that mm -hmm. and um basket mouth is you know being stiff neck and all of that mm -hmm. but i i i only feel that they should know the right way to communicate amongst Each themselves other. so who whoever needs to push first because one person mm -hmm. should always go mm -hmm. so ay if he's in a position if he thinks no not he thinks he should just because even with the conversation i feel he was the mature one in this yeah. truthfully yeah. so even if he was at fault because it looked like he was not like you said he wasn't supposed to share yeah, that he wasn't. but he actually admitted to mm. what he did yeah. you get my point so right now it also teaches a lot of people yeah. things out there so when you when you hear about something you confront in the right manner, manner. right attitude and mm. when you do that you don't look like you're trying to put two heads together, together. because he looked like he was putting two heads exactly. together and he just like conflict. defended himself but because and, he said he was hungry yeah so, so he had to do that no. so basically they should just make peace amongst themselves and try to just get things sorted because they are all great guys when it comes to the comedy yeah, field so they should just do the right thing and make peace because that's just what we want to see so if you of call course. people your fans your audience and all of that you should just be of quality character and mm -hmm. that's the communication we are talking about okay fine so if you guys really call people your fans mm -hmm. and and people that look up to you there are certainly things that you don't need to drag yeah. to the internet especially at least we want to see the next time we're seeing you both you both are you friends are friends you honestly Taking and it's so bad for you together. to say that you guys are not friends <laughs> me i consider you both to be Taking friends pictures be together exactly you know? <laughs> imagine so be good together yeah. make peace conflict mm -hmm. resolution is just the best in every misunderstanding exactly. all right that's about that here on just with seven so follow us on all our social media handles displayed on your screen yeah. and catch you next week bye